In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use Cover 3 to absolutely bag the Trips Tight End offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 and so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and also if you want to know whenever we release a new video on YouTube, I want you to go ahead and turn on your notifications by clicking that little bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. All right, guys, so cover three is back. It's making a return. There's a lot of patches that uh, I don't think EA has been completely um, just open about what they've been doing behind the doors, but they've slowly and surely been tuning zone coverage. And really, I think it's kind of an all preparation for the patch that is going to be coming out this Tuesday. So um, this, this Tuesday, March 23rd, there's going to be a major patch that's going to basically, um, it's, it's going to make man coverage less effective. It's, it's really what I think is going to happen. Um, one step ahead, they're going to raise in price. And I think they're slowly um, been tuning this direction for a while now. But anyways, it's not that man coverage is going to completely go away. It's just that it's not going to be, I mean, it's not going to be super, super impossible to move against. So um, anyways, all that to say, these are the zone drops that I want you to set. I want you to put your flats on 25, your curl flats on 10, and your hooks on 5 yards. And I want to show you a nice little defense that I like to use um, against trips tied in. Now, really quickly, if you have not already uh, picked up my nickel 335 wide defensive ebook, now would be a perfect time for you to do that because we wrote the ebook. We originally based it on a zone coverage scheme uh, as well as mixing in some match coverage and so it's going to be very very valid with the latest patch and it's going to be very very important that you master it so in my opinion if you haven't picked it up yet it's available in the description and it's just 15 bucks but anyways we're going to be using the mike blitz 3 from 335 wide and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to just kind of do some simple things. Uh, it, it really isn't going to be that complicated, but we're going to show you how to stop um, some of the more popular routes that you're going to see from trips tied in, like these corner routes, like these crossing routes and things like that. So uh, all you're going to do is you're going to shade your coverage down and shade your coverage up. And then from there, you're going to shift your defensive line uh, to the right. As you can see in this situation right here, we're shifting them this way. We're going to use this guy right in this little pocket. Now, from there, we have some adjust, some other adjustments that we can make that will help a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to put both of our linebackers onto seam flats. And then the last little step that we're going to take here is we're either we're going to put one of our defensive linemen on a zone. Typically, um, it's actually going to be this left of screen defensive guy. We're going to put him on a vertical hook here. Um, or what we could even do is we could put a vertical hook on that left side slot corner. And then we could put a vertical hook on our right side guy. You could do any either one of those that you want to do. It's fine um, either way. Uh, you can, you're can you going to be fine. So, But I want to show you first with a little bit more Mabel coverage uh, over here to the left side. I just want to show you kind of how this plays against one of the more popular route combinations you'll see. So if you watch this circle receiver, what you're gonna see that's different is the cover three zone is not gonna automatically dismiss the fact that that corner is, is, is running a corner. So for example, like I'll show you even a two by two look out of the trips tied in, but basically what's been happening up until this point is it's basically been the, the, the deep third zone has been playing very similarly um, to a deep uh, half zone. And now it's gonna change now it's gonna shift again so uh, you're gonna see here like if I motion this guy over and kind of bring in this is gonna give me a lot of space on this left side of the field to run and right here as you can see that flat does a decent job it doesn't all the way back there but this is what I'm talking about with the patch that's coming around that corner will play much better on that zone so what that allows is allows a lot of flexibility here especially on the right hand side of the screen when you talk about what do you what are we going to do as far as what are we going to call how are we going to play defense effectively out of a cover three shell well one of my one of the things that you're going to be able to do here is you're not going you're not going to have to drop you're, you're not going to have to drop that 30 yard zone so for example let me show you uh devils in sale real quick you're going to notice that I don't. there's no real necessarily need um, for me to drop. Like right here, I mean, you see how he comes back on it? And again, this is this is practice mode. It's not exactly what the game will show. The game will show, I mean, he will literally come down on that route. 
So again, it just changes what you need. It changes the routes that you or the zones that you're going to need to put on the field. So if you wanted to put a hard flat and stuff like that, you can. Uh, I just want you to be aware of that. So now this takes a look to the right side. So on the right side, what I like to do on the right side is actually um, a little bit, you know, a little bit different of a coverage. So I'm going to put essentially a cover two coverage here on the right. And then Jackson, what, he, what we're going to do with him is we're going to basically put him into a hook curl. Now, if they run a crossing route, I do want you to watch this. So if I go to a PA counter go setup like this, uh, I just want you to kind of watch how this is going to play. You're going to see that that inside third is going to come over on the tight end and that crossing route is running right into that, that little cloud flat on the outside. This is much, much more of kind of a strategic approach to this. Now, you don't have to take the outside third away. It just allows you to have another underneath zone um, so in case you need it. So, for example, I could do that right there, put that put that zone right there. And then from that point, um, I can do a lot of things with my coverage. You know, I can mat cross man people, um, but basically it's going to allow you to have an additional person in the middle of the field. Because if you watch this X receiver right here, you're going to see that middle third zone is going to go to him. As you see right there, he's going to go take that tight end. So all you got to do is just use the tight end for just long enough for us to pass it off to that middle third. And then you're able to really play some lockdown coverage defense out of this out of this formation. The other thing that's really nice about this is you can actually run some cover two on this. Like let's say that they're running a lot of the doubles in sale concepts. What you'll see is by putting that little cloud flat over there, you're going to be in a pretty good position. They're going to, I mean, they may be able to complete that for about five yards, but they're not going to be able to complete it like they used to be able to complete that, um, you know, just at will on the cover three. So, you know, my point in saying this and in really sharing this with you is you're going to have opportunities now to put um like this this would probably be my base defense against cover three right now i've got two yellows and two purples and three and a third and i'll tell you what this coverage is good um it's not great it's not perfect but it's definitely good you watch how this hit watch how this defends that running back route right you see there now if i drop that if i drop that that uh, player amos into a little bit more of a vertical type of zone maybe like a vertical or um, not a vertical hook but i'm sorry but a uh like a three rec zone, you're going to see that he's going to come a little bit more to the middle of the field. See, see how he comes to the middle of the field here? And look at how he just kind of sits on that route. So that's that's the adjustment. That's the adjustment that's going to really, really mean something uh, to your defense. You're going to see a lot of things different. But utilizing these underneath zones, now that you have, you can basically, because before, you really only had one underneath zone that you could really justify calling because the other stuff wouldn't cover it. But now what you're going to see is these zones are going to bite down a lot better on some of these crossing routes. They're going to pass things off better. Um, so I, that's the, some of the things that are really, really exciting for me, um, specifically out of the uh, trips tight end type of situation. So, for example, if I take this circle receiver or the circle corner and I put him on a cloud flat and they run a streak to the tight end and a post, all I have to do at the snap of the ball here, I just have to run up with him just long enough so that if he throws that, my guy's got it's a bang bang play, but my guy's got a pretty good chance of getting back on that route. So that's another thing that you have going for you um, when you talk about when you talk about this cover three defense. You can really justify, you know, kind of moving moving in and out of that. Now, of course, if they motion into, you know, I always say this, if they motion into a two by two and they have a vertical thread over there. That's one thing, right? That is one thing. It's a completely different thing. So, for example, if let's say let's say I set my defense up like this, and I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling like, man, I've got the perfect defensive call, and then they do that adjustment right there, automatically I'm going to put him into a blue zone, and I'm going to put a cloud flat out there, and then I'm just going to kind of use her over in this area early, and then as you see here, we still have everything taken away, still have the post route, still have the crosser, still have the, the streak. But we have a little bit more coverage integrity so for for you know for the situation uh in which they might do something like what i'm about to show you right here so again i'm going to set my defense up just like this and then i see up oh, they motion over well now as you see right there you see that that flat zone is going to take care of the corner route you're going to be able to take care of the corner route with that 25 yard um flat zone the other thing that you're going to be able to do let me show you that real quick here uh, I'm going to just use some motion. So again, if we see motion, we're going to change some things up here. It's not just going to be one way. Trips tight end is, in my opinion, really two formations. It's doubles and it's trips tight end. Okay. 
so anyways once they motion uh so i i would it would look something like this right then he motions there so i'm automatically oh i see the motion okay i'm gonna go right into that adjustment right there and what you're gonna see now is they're gonna run like more of a traditional flood concept that's hard to hit that's hard to hit against those zones that outside third will do a decent job at getting out there and that's different than what it used to be it used to be corner routes were so wide open against outside thirds that you basically had to run cover four to be able to stop corner routes well now you're going to be able to have a lot more flexibility in your zone coverage and the cover three will play some other stuff the beauty of this is it's going to give you an additional player underneath the, to be able to get get down on some of those drags and crossing routes so that's the the, the cover three uh defense for the trip side in i want to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed yet i do want to encourage you to do that if you have any questions be sure to hit me up via text message my number is 208-218-6900 and just a quick reminder if you want to get my full defensive ebook that is available in the description all you gotta do is click that link it'll take you right over and it's just 15 bucks to get the full defense shows you how to run not just this defense but everything that you can do to shut down the bunch the trip side in the strong close the spread uh pretty much anything that you're going to see in the madden community right now so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys on stream tonight at 10 p.m eastern